back to our October episode. We are super excited that you guys are here. And I know I look a little silly dressed up like a lion, but it's one of my many, and I mean many, Halloween costumes that I have going on this month, okay? So this episode is all about grit, which means to never give up even when things get hard, okay? Some of our segments might be a little challenging, but I want you guys to keep trying and have resilience which is what we learned a couple months ago. So I want you guys to check out this story and see the cool spooky things we have going on. And you'll get to see my new costumes in just a minute. I'll see you soon. This is a story about grit and why it might just be the key to your success. So what the heck is grit? Well, officially it's the combination of persistence and resilience. Big words, huh? Persistence means you keep going even when the going gets tough. And you stay focused on the task without getting distracted. Resilience is toughness. When you get knocked down, you bounce back up and try again. When you have both of these qualities, we call that grit. And once you have grit, you can learn anything. But why is grit so important to learning? Because when things are easy and you're coasting along, it's nice. It might even be fun for a while, but you're not learning. Learning comes from struggle, from trying and failing, then learning from your mistakes. Remember when you first learned to ride a bike? Or swim? Or play an instrument? Or do long division? It seems impossible at first, and if you gave up after the first try, it would be. But you're persistent. You keep trying. You start to get the hang of it. You practice. You work at it a little bit at a time, and eventually it starts to get easier for you. You learn from your mistakes, and the more you work, the easier it gets. But remember, learning is hard work. That's why you need grit. Because the key to success in school and life is how you react when things don't go your way. So the next time you're struggling with something in your life, or in your science book, just remember, it's part of learning. And with a little hard work and a lot of grit, you can do things that once seemed impossible. Check out my next costume. I'm the queen of hearts. I think it's very fitting because everyone just loves me. I'm just kidding, guys. But this is a pretty cool costume, and I'm excited to see your guys' costumes at our Halloween extravaganza event. It is on October 30th from 11 to 1 p.m. at Lake Norman High School. Tell your parents about it and you can get all the candy and games and fun stuff that you want while coming hanging out with us. We hope to see you guys there. But before that happens, I want you guys to go check out this crazy science experiment that Dr. Lulu did. I would advise you, have your parents with you, maybe have a cup of water or even do it outside because it does involve some fire. But it's really cool fire, okay? Go check it out. Here's Dr. Lulu. Hey kids, welcome back. It's Dr. Lulu and of course Einstein and we're here for electrified science. I can't wait for you to see what we're gonna do today. But be careful. It's a little spooky. Don't be scared Einstein, you'll be fine. I'll be here. Okay, so don't need much for this experiment. It's the coolest thing. So. Go to your box and get your tea bag out. And then from your house, you need some kind of lighter, a pair of scissors, and either a Sharpie or any kind of pen. Okay, so the first thing we do is open our tea bag. And when you get towards the end of this, you're probably, the, actually, you're gonna need a grown up to help you. So, the first thing we do is take our scissors and cut off the top of the tea bag, just like that. Then take the tea that's inside and pour it out. 
and we'll try to pour it back in here. But you can pour it in a trash can or wherever you need to. Okay, so then you're left with this little cylinder. See? Now, this is the part that you can be very individual on and make it really cool, okay? I'm just gonna make a plain ghost face on mine because I'm not very good at drawing. I'm very good at science, but I'm not good at drawing. So I'm gonna give them two eyes and a spooky mouth. Is that scary, kids? No. Okay. The next thing we do is take our paper and just spread it all out, okay? Then you sit it on the surface that you're gonna use, and it, sometimes it takes a minute to get it to stand up. Okay. Now we're going to complete this in a little different part of the lab because we're going to start it on the floor. Okay. Be right back. Okay. Here's our spooky ghost. It fell over. Oh no, we got to save it. Ghost, are you okay? Are you okay? Stand it back up. Okay. Now this is the part you need your parents help with. Okay. Get your lighter and then you just light the top and watch what happens. And that's your spooky Halloween experience. See you next time. Check me out, guys. I'm a cute little cupcake. And it's just so fitting because I love cupcakes. They are so my favorite dessert of like all time. They're so good. Oh my goodness. But you know what? I think that means it's time for cooking. And I'm pretty sure we have a very special guest for cooking. So head on over and I'll see you guys after. Hello, children of Earth. I am your robot friend. From your amped box, grab the Ziploc bag that you got in the mail. What you're gonna get out is your Oreo, one pretzel, two pretzel, three pretzel, four pretzel, and two candy eyes. You're gonna set those to the side. Now to begin, you're gonna go ahead and carefully open your Oreo and set it down flat. Take your pretzels and put them on the yummy white part of the Oreo. Make sure they're pushed in pretty tight. Then you're gonna take your extra pretzel Break it in half, put it in the middle for two more little legs. Now, take the top of your Oreo and put it on top. Then, you're going to take your two candy eyes and put it on the top of your Oreo. And voila! You have a spider Oreo. Now, this is important. Take it and eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it. Enjoy! Well, you guys... But that cooking really got me in the mood to become a chef for Halloween. I don't know which costume I'm gonna choose yet, but I think this one's pretty fitting, don't you think? Well, while I go decide on some more costumes, you guys head over with Lexi to make a spooky flying craft, and I'll see you later. Hey kids, welcome back to Amped Up Art. Today, we're gonna be making a spooky little bat. From your ant box, you're gonna need a coffee filter, clothespin, and googly eyes. From home, you'll need scissors, markers, glue, and a little bit of water. Let's get started. First, we're gonna take our coffee filter and fold it in half, hot dog style. Now, we're gonna take our scissors and with an adult supervision, we're gonna cut in half. You can lay the other side to the side. Now you have half of the coffee filter. Next, we're gonna take the scissors and we're gonna cut out some bat wings. 
Awesome, there's our bat wings. Now what we're gonna do is color them. Here's how I colored mine. Next, we're gonna color our clothespin to make this the body of the bat. I'm gonna color mine black. Okay, everything's colored. What we're gonna do now is take a little bit of water and see what it does to our colors on our thing. So we don't want to get too much water on there. So let's do something silly. Oh my goodness. Do you guys remember what it looked like before we put the water on it? It's like tie dye now, perfect for Halloween. Next, we are gonna use grit to glue on our eyeballs to our bat stick. Now, if you can see here, they don't perfectly fit. So we might have to try a couple times, but we're gonna be able to do it. So put a little tiny line of glue right there and work really carefully to put half of an eyeball there and then the other half right next to it. Now, because this is such a hard task and we need to use our grit, we might need to let it sit for just a few minutes so that it'll dry. So let's wait just a couple minutes. A few moments later. Okay, I think our bat is ready to put together. So what we're gonna do is take your bat wings, scrunch and pinch them together, kinda like that. And then we're gonna, see how that opens? We're gonna clip in the middle to hold the scrunch together. And look at that. Look at our little Halloween bat, how cool. Okay. We're all done making our bat. I know that was a really tough craft, but we really stuck through it and we used grit to get through the tough things. Now, my bat is somewhere out there. Maybe you can see it outside, flying away. Hi kids, it's me, Coach JT. And I'm back for another Zap Game Show. And it's spooky season, so we're using the spookiest thing of all. Candy corn. Blech. I don't like candy corn. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your straw from your box and your candy corn from your box. And you're gonna take your straw, inhale, suck up the candy corn, and try to take it from one plate to the other. But don't drop it. Here, let's give it a try. And just like that, you're a winner. All right, you guys, you know what? After trying on all of those costumes and being so many different things today, I think I settled on just the perfect one, Amped Host. It's my favorite outfit of all, because Amped is my favorite thing of all. I hope you guys had so much fun today with your episode and you followed along with your boxes that you got in the mail. Don't forget our Halloween event is coming up very, very soon. So check out the West Church Facebook page to see more information. I hope you guys learned about grit and how important it is to keep going even when things get tough. For me, I was really, really struggling with trying to choose a costume and it was getting really, really hard. But I learned from my hard work that I would finally choose something that I loved, being an amp host. For you guys, there are so many things that you can focus on, but always make sure that you learn from them. Stay determined and have some grit. Follow us on Instagram at Amped Online to stay up to date on the latest news, air dates, and extra content. Check out our webpage at ampedwestchurch.com to watch full episodes, segments, get more information about upcoming events, and more. Also, text AMPED to 704-343 8955 to sign up for your free AMP subscription box.